Hello and welcome to our reflections on Tuesday, though being filmed on Monday, which is my birthday. And I've got my special birthday t-shirt on. Here we are. All men are born equal, um, but the best are born in September. There we go. Not sure that I believe that, but it was bought me for my birthday, so I thought I ought to wear it. And here I am on a tropical island. No, I'm not. I'm at Whitley Bay. It's, uh, it's a, a wonderful day. It's been raining, but it's been great. The psalm for today, Psalm 48, um, has phrases in it that are about looking around us and seeing God's work. The psalmist actually refers to the towers and citadels of Jerusalem to almost lord it over the other kings who come and are impressed by the majesty of the fortifications. But I think in our case we can say, yeah, look around you. See God's work. The Roman poet Horace um, coined the phrase which has been translated, seize the day, carpe diem. He uh, quoted it in one of his poems in about 23 BC, something like that. It's about making the most of it. And here I am, 63 years old, wanting to make the most of every day. I've had some um, brilliant experiences um, the last two days, family gathering round, um, having the fun at the coast today. Uh, playing table tennis for the first time in a long, long time with my good wife. Uh, seize the day. And Horace continues that line by saying, you're never quite sure what tomorrow's going to bring. And how true that is as well as we have experienced the surge of emotions and feelings with the shock of these last days seize the day make the most of each moment did you know that there wasn't a September the 13th in the year 1752 it just didn't happen how weird is that it was because uh, Britain was finally reverting from the Julian calendar to the uh, Gregorian calendar that Europe and many of the other parts of the world had already adopted, but not Britain, <laughs> as ever we were doing things differently. It meant that 1751 was the shortest year on record. That would be a good uh, quiz question, wouldn't it? What would be the shortest year? 1751, because they changed the start of the year from March the 25th to January the 1st, so they only got nine months in 1751. But then they realised that they were 11 days out anyway um, to sink in with the uh, sort of astronomical calendar and the rotation of the Earth and all that kind of stuff. And so they had to cut 11 days out of 1752. So Wednesday, September the 2nd was followed by Thursday, September the 14th. And you know what? There were riots they're known as the calendar riots of 1752 and it was because people felt that they were being robbed of days of their life. <laughs> Seize the moment. Make the most of every day. Thank God for it and look around and see God at work. God bless.